This week during Lent, we focus on the cross, a symbol, a sign, a representation, a powerful message of God's love for us. Hebrews 12, 2 reminds us to look to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who, for the sake of the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Look to the cross, that place of crucifixion, that place where one physical life ended so that we, the humans, would live forever in grace and mercy. Those visual crosses, the crosses we see in our everyday lives, provide quick glimpses for us of the importance and reminders of its meaning. Glimpses as we pass by a church with a steeple, three crosses together on a hillside, images of crosses on the screens we watch. What meaning comes to your mind as you see a cross? Do more than look. See the cross and know the sadness of the crucifixion, the pain of Jesus as he carried his cross through the cold stone steps of Jerusalem. See the cross and remember Simon the Cyrene, who was compelled to actually carry the cross and share the burden of Jesus. See the cross and hear the taunting cries of those who mocked our Lord in desperate determination to fulfill God's promise to us. See the cross and know the tears of the women gathered as they witnessed the moment that forever changed humankind. See the cross and know the joy of the resurrection, that Jesus Christ is in his rightful place, ready to welcome us. Know that because of Jesus, we live in God's mercy forever. You visually see the cross. Now let's look inwardly to the cross and feel the meaning of our Lord's sacrifice. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death on a cross. Look to the cross and see yourself, yourself in humility to others. Be yourself in all the glory God provided you. Be who you are, perfect in God's eyes. Yes, you are perfect in God's eyes. Jesus on the cross is a reminder of that sacrificial perfection. Regard others kindly, especially in this world where there is division and hopelessness. Exercise humility always and serve others as Jesus served all. Can you feel the cross? We are not Simon actually carrying the cross, but can you feel in your hands the shape, feel in your heart the promise of the cross, feel the power of Jesus on the cross, feel in your hands the shape, feel in your heart the promise of our faithful God. Hold the cross and know the love of God through the sacrificial death on that cross so many years ago, but so very relevant today. Go now and do unto others as our Lord would expect. Would you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, hear our prayers as we beseech you. Our Lord Jesus denied himself took up the cross, and journeyed all the way to the crucifixion for our sake. Be with us as we take up the cross that requires sacrificial love. Help us to follow you when we face challenges. Allow us to look to the cross, see the cross, feel the cross, and especially to walk humbly in your steps every minute of our lives. During this season of repentance and reflection, help us more closely 
more willingly, more nearly imitate you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.